guys. Welcome to the awakening part four. Now today, I was thinking about what am I going to talk about? What am I going to talk about? And um, I just got up because um, I basically was up all night stressing, trying to find some files um, to do a program, to do a continuation of a program. I could not find those files anywhere. I was going crazy looking for my files everywhere. I could not find them anywhere. There I am looking for my files, looking for my files, going crazy. The ego's going mad, looking everywhere, getting all these programs, they create all sorts of things. And it was going on and on and on and on. Now, really interesting, the word manifested my fear and my panic. As soon as I got up, I was bombarded by all the fear, all the panic, everything, all the dark side, boom, 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 boom on top of me from all the, from this group that I belong to, that I set up for positivity in order to be able to, yes, experience the dark, but get out of it and also bring in the light. Okay. So I nearly lost my sanity. Oh, I did lose my sanity last night. I'd say I lost my sanity last night. And that can't happen. After all the years, and everything that I've done, all the years of work, continuous work on myself, I cannot lose my sanity, do you understand? And neither can you. So there I was, and I felt like I'd lost my sanity completely. And I thought, I got up this morning and I thought, that's it. I can't do it. I'm not going to go on social media. I'm going to get straight on here. I'm going to put on the uh, awakening number three. And I'm going to make another one because my job is to try and stay sane through all of this and to keep you guys sane. Now, isn't it interesting that because I was in the darkness last night and I had absolutely no empathy for anyone around me, not the cats, not my husband, I was so in the darkness, worrying and panicking about this program that I couldn't edit. And then I got up this morning and I was bombarded by the crap. And then I thought, I'll take a, I thought, I'll take a pause. I'll take a pause. I'll breathe. I won't get up. I'll do a bit of meditating. And I thought to myself, that's it. I have to maintain my sanity. So I thought I would go and see whether... I'd applied for a lottery grant, um, an emergency response. And if you guys want to apply for it, if you're musicians or you're working on your own, some kind on your art and music, you can apply for a grant now um, because they're giving money away for people to carry on their work. So I had applied for a grant. So I went on and I thought I'll check my grant. I'll check my grant and see what happens. Now, I've been applying for lottery grants for years and never got a penny. And there it was. We've decided to offer you a grant. Woo! <laughs> and I'm like, I'm shaking all over the place, you know, because I'm thinking, oh my God, there's all these extreme emotions one minute where I can't cope with anything. Look at my webcam. It's dark and nasty. And now they're giving me a grant. I can buy a new webcam. Uh, I can actually do more work around my musical encounters than God knows I deserve it. God knows I deserve it. And that, it was like such a contrast. Suddenly, there was this extreme darkness that everything is awful. I'm all going to die and um, they're going to stick a needle in me. And that's the end. I'll be violated. Yeah, the other. And then suddenly, the light came in in such a big way. I was offered this really nice amount of money, which will keep me going with encounters, <laughs> help me get the whole score done. And it was like, wow, wow, <laughs> we will do a lot for me. And it was like, suddenly the darkness and the light were like extremes. And it wasn't like the bit in the middle, little bit of darkness, little bit of light. It was everything. And there was me. And I was shaking. I was jumping from what, thinking, okay, that's it. I'm happy. I'm celebrating. And I thought, right, that's it. 
I'm doing a Zoom, light work is Zoom tonight, and you're all, light workers are invited, but I am celebrating, and I'm sorry, but I'm celebrating a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful win, and thank you, universe, and thank you, lottery, for giving me that money, because you're giving me an opportunity to do what I love, and you guys can do it as well, and I'll, contact me, I'll explain to you, it's called the emergency response. So isn't that interesting? So isn't that what we're talking about? It's all about balance, okay? So this awakening could make weird things happen for you like it has for me. It could make good things happen for you like it has for me, you know? And as I said, we have to go into the dark and bring it all up. So people like David Icke, who's bringing, it, bringing you into the dark all the time, but he's keeping you in the dark. And I don't like that. I'm taking you into the darkness, I'm telling you what's out there, and I'm bringing you into the light. Because that is what we're supposed to do, I feel, as light workers. If we stay in the dark, imagine they put you in a box, okay? You're in a box, it's pitch dark, and you haven't got a torch. You're gonna be stuck in that box, and you're gonna get crazier and crazier. And that's what I started to feel yesterday. I started to feel like I was getting crazier and crazier, and that can't happen. But then the light came in today because I was prepared to shine a torch. I was prepared to think I will go and check the lottery. I will give it a chance. And there it was, an offer. An offer from the lottery. <laughs> and it was like, oh my God. So that's because I was able to shine a torch. Now, Every one of you can shine a torch. Every one of you can pick up that torch and you might need to retreat for a while. You might need to let go of the dark for a while because a lot of the dark, as we explained on that program, <laughs> to Awake Blondes, is a fashion. It's a fashion that the media need to have a fashion where they scare you, where they make you panic for a while. And I think that this is another fashion. This is another time to go in. They want you to go into huge fear. But there's loads of evidence that you don't need to do that. And if all of us go into that huge fear, we're going to become paralyzed and we won't come up with any positive solutions. So if I had stayed in this huge fear that I can't edit and I can't find, and maybe I'll never find that program, but you know, we could do it again. It's not the end of the world. There is a possibility we've done part one. We could probably do it again. But if I'd stayed in that panic and fear, I would have had a terrible day today, a terrible day of panic and fear, and they could have got sick. There's more chance that you'll get sick when you're in panic and fear. But that's obvious, guys, that's common sense. So what we need to do now is we need to really, really focus on the fact that we can come out of it, okay? So we're in the dark, we're getting all this darkness thrown at us. And to all these people I love that are in the dark, I mean, talk about in the dark, I lost teeth. I've lost another tooth, but I'm not going to let it get to me. I will never stop in making programs. I just increase my lipstick and hopefully you can see too much where the teeth are gone. Um, but that would be staying in the darkness. Poor me, I've lost my teeth. The body's playing up, I'm in pain. You can see I can't sit straight, I can't sit for very long because of the there's no sunshine and so the body plays up a lot more and i was on the internet all night trying to find these files so it's very easy to stay in that dark place it's very easy to stay but i got up i did my hair hope you like it i put some lipstick on a little bit of makeup organic and i'm back i'm back because i have to it's my job my job is a light worker so every single one of you, I'm calling on you. Yes, you need to feel the darkness. You need to understand it's there. We did say this. However, you cannot stay in it. Please don't stay in it. You are here for a reason. 
every one of you is either a star seed or an indigo. Those people that are in my groups are in particular. But then you are also here to experience being a human being. Maybe you are just a normal human being, a great human being that doesn't need to come from another planet like some of us. So why are you here? What are you doing here? Now, I'm telling people about the, the funding that I got. I'm telling people about the funding I got. If you don't respond to it, then why? Why are you not taking these opportunities that are out there for you in the lockdown to realize your dreams, to make your life better? Why are you not doing that, guys? That's what you've got to ask yourself. If you want to stay in the darkness, then my suggestion is, okay, go inside and ask yourself why. Why am I staying in this darkness? Why? Do I not have any food? Well, as I said to you, if you've not got food, contact me because everyone needs to have food. And there's no way I want to let you have food. You don't need to pay the rent for a while because we've been given leeway. You can sit and you can meditate. You can be with your children. You can hug them. You can teach them. Turn the news off. Even turn David Icke off. Because yes, he's, he is bringing it all up. But that's it. He doesn't give you solutions. You need to find your own solutions. And I'm sorry if, if this is something that David Icke doesn't want to hear. I think he's amazing. And I think that he's highlighting a lot of wonderful stuff. But guys, we need solutions. And the only way you're going to find solutions is if you meditate and you do what you love. And you love your children. You love your pets. You love your life. Because if you do everything from the darkness, you're stuck. As I said, you're going to be stuck. It's like stuck in a box. Okay? Now... Facebook took the Facebook Live away from me when I had 4,000 friends on there. So I couldn't do what I loved. So instead of crying about it, I went out and I sorted out another account. You can all do it. And I started to focus on making programs and moving on TV for you, the awakening programs. And I'm really proud of myself. Everyone is proud of me because they know how hard it is. I have no family. Oh, yes, I have family. I have lots of family. I have a sister and I have three beautiful new nieces. I have beautiful nieces. They're in their 20s and one is nearly 30. Not one of them has Skyped me. I, I did do a WhatsApp with my sister for her birthday. Not one of my nieces has contacted me or my husband to find out how we are through the lockdown. Not one, not one of them has has zoomed or whatsapped or answered any of my messages. I got the occasional message from one of them, the eldest, who's, who's on Facebook with me. And, does, and that is very, very soul destroying, don't you think? Don't you think that's soul destroying? But I tell you what, it's not destroying my soul, is it? I'm creating a new family, a new loving family, and you are my loving family. All of you, you are my loving family. I have a massive family. I have a wonderful husband and I have two beautiful cats. And the friends that are staying in touch with me, um, I'm finding it difficult because they're not red-pilled enough, but they're still there. They haven't uh, pushed me away. Not Most of them haven't. <laughs> they do answer messages, some of them occasionally, some of them all the time. But they're there. They're there. And, and so even if they weren't, well, this is it for me, my work. So I'm going to pull a How to Stay Sane in a Crazy World card for you because I hope that helps you today. Right, let's see. And I'm here to help, so... But I'm not here to listen to you stuck in the darkness, okay? And if anybody wants to keep going on and on and on about how bad things are, that's not what it's about. You, it's a bit like the 12 steps. You know, people go to the groups 
they say, okay, I'm an alcoholic. I admit I'm an alcoholic. I admit I have issues with fear and panic. I do. So what am I going to do about it? I'm going to find a higher power. To me, my higher power is work. And I even thought about it. What if the internet goes and I can't do these meetings? I can't do these programs for you. Well, I'll get out a camera and I'll film myself. And uh, I'll do the old way. <laughs> they used to do everything the old way. And there you go back. I'll make my titles by writing on them and filming them and the awakening. <laughs> and I'll go out and, and, I'll, and I'll film with a camera, as I say. Um, and then after that, I'll project it onto a projector. End of story. So if you want to see my programs, you'll have to come... Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how we'll do it. But once we're out of lockdown, you know, I don't know. I haven't even thought about it yet. But even if I can't do my programs, I can still write encounters. You know, uh, we're going back uh, thousands of years. Composers composed. <laughs> you know, you compose, you keep composing. You learn how to write the music instead of using Sibelius. There's always a solution, guys. There's always a solution. Dad always said that. My father always used to say, there's a solution to everything, Lauren, except, and he used to bang his foot on the ground, <laughs> as if to say, once you're six feet under. Now, I think he knows that that was the solution <laughs> because now he's, he's happier and more connected to me than ever. Okay, let's do these cards, guys. Let's see what happens. Let's do these cards and let's see what we get. All right, I'm going to choose a card for you. Choose again. I got card 17. Q. <laughs> Where we go, on we go. Card 17. Choose again. But isn't that brilliant? I got 17, which is Q. Are you watching Q? Q doesn't tell you to just sit there and do nothing. Q goes and tells you to celebrate the awakening in every way you can. Q doesn't tell you to rely on Q. Q tells you to, to come up with your own solutions. Q tells you to go inside and do what you feel you're called to do, whether that's going on the street, whether that's a demonstrating, whether that's saying, I do not consent, we are not having it, we are not having it, we are not having it, whatever that 1% wants to give us, as I explained with Neil Donna Walsh in the previous one. Let's choose again. Let's keep the 17 card, which is Q, and choose again. I did these cards before Q even, even was born. <laughs> well, before we knew about Q. Not Q was born, obviously, because Q was there for a long time. How to stay sane in a crazy world. And so choose again, and it's card 17, and it's Q, which is Q, okay? Which is giving you the opportunity to choose a better life. Well, that, let's use it. Choose again. I'm going to use this. How can you use the card, choose again, today? Choose to be happy. Choose to focus on what you love. Choose to give yourself a hug. Choose to give your friends a hug. Choose to put on a little bit of lipstick, ladies. Um, choose to put on a tiny bit of makeup, as long as it's organic, because I'm looking for organic companies to, to promote moving on TV. Choose to smile. Choose to cry, choose to go to bed, choose to get up. You have lots of choices at the moment. Not all of you, because you're parents. But even if you're a parent, choose a little bit of space for yourself. I'm going to work with this one today. Choose again. Choose a new life, choose a new job, choose a new partner. What do you want from life? Use this time to understand that you can choose again. I'm going to call this program The Awakening 17, Choose Again. Choose again. It's like giving me, as they call it, a con nod. <laughs> um, Kellyanne Hobbs used to say, this is a nod from God. Choose again. Today, I choose to be happy. Today, I choose to be blonde, really blonde, as you can see. <laughs> Today I choose to have fun. Today I choose to eat. Today I choose to do nothing. Today I choose to celebrate my life. Today I choose to stay in the moment. Choose again, choose again, choose again. That's it. 
wonderful card. Thank you so much, God, love, for helping me choose again. So today I got up and I chose again. Today I decided I was going to choose again. Even though I still can't find those files, even though I'm embarrassed and, and I feel that I let people down, but I will not go insane because of it. It's not worth it. I was letting myself go insane. So you choose again. You choose, you choose, you keep choosing. You choose what you eat. You choose what you drink. You choose to be a vegan. You choose to be 20 today. How would a 20 year old act? How would a 20 year old act through this? You choose to wear a mask. You choose to have whatever. It's your world. It's your choice. You have got many choices. Yes, you do in lockdown. Choose to go for a walk. Choose to sit in the rain. Choose to get wet. It's not a good idea because you might get a cold or a flu bug. Choose. You choose what you want to do. Choose to do yoga. There's loads of stuff now on the internet that you can choose. Choose to do yoga. Choose to play your keyboard, which is awful at the moment. Choose to write a book. Choose again, choose again, choose again, choose again, choose again. Keep trying and try. Choose another way to get a grant if you can't get a grant. Now I'm getting pretty good at it. I got two grants since the lockdown, okay? <laughs> I got another one the other day um, to help me and my husband because I'm not working. If you don't like your job, choose again. If you don't want to be married, choose again. You don't have to be married. You can still be in love and not married. You don't have to be married. In your heart, you love that person, but you don't have to be tied down. Choose again. Take your rings off. Put your rings back on. It's up to you. Today is all about choice, 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 choice. We have loads of choice. As I said to you, that is, whatever that group is, is 1%. 1% of the world. The rest of the world is you. Millions and billions of people who are choosing. Choose to smoke, choose to drink, choose to do, destroy your body or choose to heal your body. You, to me, it's all about healing the body now. We are living now in a time where you need to really think about healing your body, continuously healing your body. Because nothing can touch you when you've got a healthy body and a healthy mind. So it's all about choose. I didn't know what to talk about today, but the cards told me how to stay sane in a crazy world. You can purchase these cards from me. They're, 10, they're 12 pounds, that includes postage. Um, so if you want a pack of cards, let me know. Uh, I might try to do them by, I, I think I can send them to you online, but. If not, then post them. And when the Positivity Center opens in Nashville, they sell them. So you can buy them from Paul and sell. These cards are very intuitive. <laughs> As today, I chose the Q card and it's 17 and it said choose again. Okay, so that's it. I could go on and on and on. I may do like a live stream uh, at some point, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> But today is about you sitting down and thinking about how am I going to negotiate the dark? And the dark is everywhere. It's coming up everywhere. But, and I need a torch for the next one, we have to shine our torches everywhere. And what happens when you shine your torch? You see the truth. You see every little bit of dust, don't you? When the sun comes out and the light comes out and you shine your torch, you see every bit of dust in the house. And the sun is coming out, guys. Go out, get your vitamin D. The sun is coming out, I can see it. Isn't that beautiful? So you make another choice. Choose again. It's all about choices. So today, as I say, is all about coming out of the darkness into the light. I'm giving you loads of love. I'm giving you loads of smiles. Um, I've slept a lot now. I slept the whole day. And I'm really sorry for my friends that wanted me to Zoom early this morning. There is no way on this planet that I was anywhere but in my sleep. And I had a lot of dreams. I can't remember them.
but I had a lot of dreams last night. I, I mean, this morning. <laughs> so you see, um, if you saw me last night going crazy, trying to find those files, you wouldn't believe it's the same person. But we all have that in us. You have it in you, we all do. So now I just wanna do a quick grounding with you before I go. So just put your feet on the floor and imagine you've got roots that are coming out of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Take it from the belly button. Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. I love you. I love you very much. You can contact me at Lauren, Lauren, <laughs> movingontv.uk. Lauren at movingontv.uk. I will try and get this out by tomorrow as I'm trying to do one a day. Keeps me sane, gives me focus, gives me structure. Very important. I feel like I'm doing my job and I'm trying to say collectively to all the people that are sitting in the darkness and they will not let the light come in or they're, they're trying to let the light come in and then they get an outpour of darkness again. You can choose again, like I did today, like I did today. And somehow a lottery grant appeared, but even if it hadn't, I would have got on here. I would have got my hair together and put on a little bit of lipstick. I already decided to not, let the fact that the body is playing up and things are disintegrating because of whatever. And I was going to come on here and I was going to smile and I was going to tell you that everything's going to be all right and that we can choose again. Okay. So um, I hope that brightens up your day a little bit, guys. As I say, you can ring me on 07437. 532798-07437-532798. PM me on Facebook, Moving on TV Facebook, um, Hope Glory Productions on Instagram. It's now actually called Moving on TV on Instagram. I changed it. We've got a new logo. See our new logo? It's on here now. Bringing the hope and the glory back into your lives. The hope is that there is light, and I hope that I'm giving it to you as well. Watch Ralph Smart, watch Laurie Ladd, watch Ralph Smart, Laurie Ladd, people, those are the main people I'd recommend at the moment. Um, if you need to find out what's really going on, watch Q. Um, don't, if you're in a low space, then switch it off for a few days. The world will still turn without you, but you are likely to feel better, and you're likely to be able to contribute more to the human race if you switched off for a few days from social media and all that stuff. So I recommend watching Ralph Smart, definitely. He's very positive. He did a huge stream about the fall of the cabal. Very, very powerful. Guys, they cannot get us. We are billions. They are 1%. We know what they are. They're all exposed now. It's just going to take a little bit of time. You've just got to trust. Like it's taken me years to get a lottery grant, years of applying and never just turned out continuously, continuously. Taking me years to get a lottery grant, years, 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 years. It took me nearly two years in the therapeutic community to find inner peace. Nearly two years to be able to deal with some of my biggest issues. It takes time, guys. This is tough love. I'm giving you nurturing, but I'm also going to give you some tough love. Turn off the media. Stop watching everything that David Icke puts out there because, as I said, yes, it's the truth, but we know it. We know what they want to do, and that's what he's putting out there. We know what he, they want to do, but what are the solutions? That's what we need to think about. Each and every one of us bring our light together 
what are the solutions? And if you want to join a light worker Zoom tonight at 8.30, I've got to go and eat so I can get this planned. Please PM me. This won't go on before that anyway. But the next one you'll find out if you contact me. We do them regularly. We do some for women, some for men, some for joints. <laughs> but it's full of love and you can talk about your fears. We all talk about how we feel, and then collectively, we look at solutions. We meditate, we ground ourselves, we look at solutions. So today, we pulled the 17, the choice card, 17, isn't that interesting, from how to stay sane in the crazy world. As I say, if you want to sponsor me, if you want to help me with this work, then you can donate. Um, it, the, the link's down below, it's going to be on theatre, and the link's down below is the link the PayPal link, which of course helps me and helps me bring on another editor so that I don't lose everything. <laughs> so I don't lose my files and I don't embarrass myself and you know have to do interviews again with the same people. We've got a brilliant program, Two Awake Blondes with me and Angie, full of fun with Paul Bogie Brighton. Watch part one. I can't can't confirm whether two and three will be there, but I'm doing my best. We might have to interview him again. But if you like part one, then hopefully we'll get him back for part two. So there you go. Love you lots. Peace. Shalom. Salam. Shanti. And please choose again. Love you. Bye.